everybody, Elena here from PC World, and right now we are in the final season of Game of Thrones, which means there are spoilers everywhere. You name it, it's there. So here's how to avoid them on Facebook and Twitter. All right, I know. The easiest way to avoid spoilers on Facebook and Twitter is to just not log in. I get that. But if you still want to get a cat fix, like I do on the daily basis, here's how you do that. So first, let's tackle Facebook. The first step I need to take is just to download and install the Social Fixer extension, which you can find just by Googling. And Social Fixer works for all of the major browsers. When you load it, it will automatically detect the browser you're using and suggest that as an option. But as you can see right here, you can still choose other browsers. And what this does is basically it just shoots you on over to the download, the official download page through that particular browser. So Firefox add-ons, I'm just gonna make sure that this is the one I want. It says Social Fixer by Matt Cruz, who's the developer of this. That's the one I want. I'm gonna click on Add to Firefox. I'm gonna look over these permissions real quick. I'm okay with that, so I'm gonna click Add. If you're, for whatever reason, not comfortable, you can click on Cancel, but obviously if you do that, you won't install the extension and you won't be able to use this as a way to avoid spoilers. So I've done that, everything's good to go. I'm gonna go back to my Facebook tab here, and as you can see, there's now this gear icon here, and there is this little pop-up notice that said, Social Fixer is now installed. You know, click here, and then go to Options to begin customizing it to your needs. Now, Social Fixer is actually a very robust extension. There's a lot of things you can do with it just beyond the filtering. I'm not gonna get into that here, but it's worth looking around the different options and seeing what you might want to do in addition to this filtering. But for our purposes, to avoid Game of Thrones spoilers, we're gonna go to this Filters tab right here and then just scroll right down towards the bottom. The developer of this extension has already set up filters uh, for Game of Thrones and even Avengers Endgame, and you can just go ahead and add those automatically and they should work. You have two options for Game of Thrones. It's hide Game of Thrones spoilers till Monday, so if you think you'll be caught up by then, you're fine, or you can choose to hide all posts about Game of Thrones. Um, for this, I'm gonna choose all because uh, not everyone can watch uh, Sunday night. And I'm going to actually go in here and edit it because it doesn't include, let's see, can I edit this? No, okay, so I'm gonna set a separate filter because this one doesn't include the um, abbreviation for Game of Thrones, which is GOT, which people also use. I'm just gonna give it a name and so I know what it's about. And then I'm gonna actually change this little thing right here. I'm gonna check this box and it's gonna show me a note where the post would have been. So that way, if for whatever reason, I wanna come back to it later, I can click on it and then actually read what my friends wrote. Jones, potential spoiler, so I know what the label is. And then I'm done editing that. I'm gonna do the same thing for this hide all posts one, the preset one, just cause I like to know what I am potentially missing out on. So I'm all done, save the changes, and now all I have to do is reload the page. So I can do that by just clicking here. We're doing Control R on Windows. I believe it's um, Command R on Mac OS. And it should work. So I have Game of Thrones, the official HBO page, on here. And that's the only one I have here because if this doesn't work exactly as intended, I don't have to worry about potentially ruining things for you all. Oh, here we go. It's really subtle. You see right here it says Game of Thrones post hidden. So that means that this is one of the ones, this is a post that HBO had made and now it's hidden from my view so I don't have to worry about it while I'm scrolling through my feed. So I'm gonna click on it and it, everything's fine. It's not an actual spoiler. And now you can see what it was. So it's just this teaser for sun, last Sunday's episode. And I can click on this again and it's hidden from view. And this is, this is all there is to it. You can go a little more in depth if you want to, like customizing the filters, creating new ones, tweaking a little. Um, but 
you really don't need to do more than that. The one thing I will say though is that this only applies to desktop. So if you're using the mobile app for Facebook, it won't work for that. This is a, like a JavaScript based thing that works in the desktop browser. So it's only local to the machine that you're on. All right, so next up is Twitter. Let's uh, move on to that. All right, so I'm already logged into Twitter. So first thing I'm gonna do is go and click on my avatar image up here in the upper right hand corner for profile and settings. And then I'm going to go down to settings and privacy and then find this section here called muted words and click on that. And so what I'm basically going to do is set up my own filters. However, Twitter strangely does not allow multiple words to be parsed in a single filter, so you will have to set up a filter for every single phrase or word that you want to do. So Game of Thrones is going to be one. And I can choose to mute it from my home timeline, just from either just from that, just from notifications, or from both. And for notifications, I can choose to block uh, notifications from anyone uh, that uh, tweeting something with that key phrase or keyword, or from only people who don't follow me. So I, this is kind of based more on people who troll on Twitter, but you can use it for this purpose as well. And then you can also choose for how long you do it. So it can just be a permanent filter. It can last for a day, a week, or a whole month. I'm just gonna leave it on forever, just for the sake of this. And I'm gonna do it for everyone, just in case uh, some of my friends get particularly enthusiastic about spewing information. So I'm gonna click Add, and that's my first one. And so if I want Jon Snow, then I'm going to have to do that. And then again, like I said, just go down the entire list of things that I think people might say that would spoil my pure, unadulterated ability to watch an episode. Uh, and that's really it. Twitter is a lot simpler, it's a lot faster to implement, as long as you don't have a gigantic list of words. And this, unlike the Facebook solution I just showed you, applies across the entirety of the service. So you can put this all in on a desktop uh, setting, but it applies equally to whatever you see in the mobile app and vice versa. And if you were to do this in the mobile app, it's very similar. You would just click on your avatar icon, you would go to settings and privacy, and then go down to muted words and just do this whole process. Right, so that's how you avoid spoilers on Facebook and Twitter without leaving those services. Um, these tips apply just as well to say like Avengers Endgame, political posts, other things that you might not want to see in your feed at all. This set of steps works for all of that. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. We've got more great tips and some fun stuff on our channel. Otherwise, see y'all soon.